Hey, kiddo. your sister throw it in the trunk, okay? Okay, I will. So where's Sheena staying? At her friend Emily's. Is Emily a real person? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's a sophomore. She has an apartment. Okay, this is in case of emergency. Don't spend it. I want it back. Okay. Did you do your homework? Most of it, but I can finish tomorrow night. Honey, 11th grade is really important for college. Don't blow it. I know, I know. I, I mean, we're going to UT and everything. No, oh, don't you want me to come? Come on, she had a road trip with mom. I'll take the gas. Mom. Just kidding, I have work. Call me when you get there. I will. Have fun. Extreme Mason view everything. Not at all. I finally figured it out. It's like when they realized it was going to be too expensive to actually build cyborgs and robots. I mean, the costs of that were impossible. They decided to just let humans turn themselves into robots. That's what's going on right now. Oh, right now? Yeah, I mean, why not? There are billions of us just laying around, not really doing anything. We don't cost anything, and I mean, we're even pretty good at self-maintenance and reproducing constantly. And as it turns out, we're already biologically programmed for our little cyborg upgrades. How? I, seriously, I read this thing the other day about how, like, when you hear that ding on your inbox, you get a, like, a dopamine rush in your brain. It's like we're being chemically rewarded for allowing ourselves to be brainwashed. How evil is that? We're fucked. <laughs> so you deleting your Facebook page is gonna change all that? <laughs> Remember when Trevor deleted his Facebook page last year? And everyone just hated him? You made more fun of him than anyone. I still made fun of Trevor, though. <laughs> but it was like he was so pathetically desperate for attention. Or to be different or something. That's just because they did that lame story about it in the school paper. <laughs> and then he had to make a big announcement about it when he came back a month later. That's the thing, though. I'm not doing it for attention. I just want to try and not live my life through a screen. I want, like, some kind of actual interaction. A real person, not just the profile they put up. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you saying something? Yeah, okay. I, I know you're joking, <laughs> but, I mean, it's kind of true. You have been, you know, checking your phone this whole time. And so what are you really doing? You don't care what your friends are up to on Saturday afternoon, but you're also obviously not fully experiencing my profound bitching so yeah it's like everyone's just stuck in like an in-between state not really experiencing anything it's not an experience it's just information look for example i just got the address of the club where we're meeting them later so we won't be wandering the streets of austin lost for an hour tonight thank you very much facebook and i just texted my mom back Oh, that's, that's groundbreaking. <laughs> she hasn't seen you in, like, 55 minutes. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, most importantly, Meg's family just got a miniature pet pig. <laughs> okay, you're right. That is, right? A, that is a really cute, tiny pig. Our, our lives can go on 